Welcome back to Jeebus Gaming guys and we're going out on our daytime dive today. Next time you see us though, we will be back on our nighttime route. Cool series of events today, we got a little bit of gas money so hopefully we have some luck today. So anyway, if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button for awesome dumpster diving videos every single day. Leave this video a big fat thumbs up and make sure you also back in the notification bell. Follow us on our social media links, PO Box is in the description and blah blah blah, you know the routine. Anyway, let's go check this dumpster. This is Thomasville. It's been empty for freaking two weeks. It's still empty. Oh, there's a Chick-fil-A thing over there. If anyone's looking for a Chick-fil-A sandwich bag, get a Mountain Dew or Sprite or something like that in it. There you go, but yeah, it's not quite what I'm looking for. Let's check out Pier 1 right here. There's some people walking over there, but oh well. Let's look. Dun. I'm not really sure what that is. Also pretty gross. Some metal stuff, I don't really know what's going on in there. But anyway, as we're going to the next dumpster, I gotta say, I was cleaning out the car today and we found a scratch off that I guess I had put somewhere a long time ago. There was a $2 winner and I just put it in the machine and got another $2 ticket and won 50 bucks. So, we got gas now, what is that? What? There's a car coming. There's a car coming. They're not gonna go around us, is they? They're too stupid. There's <laughs> what I want to call them, I can't quite say, but you know, they see a car stopped, blinkers on, and they're like, "All right, let's sit behind it." You're a special kind of idiot. You know what? No, you're getting on camera. If you ever see this company right here, know that they are complete morons. They don't quite understand common sense. They're like, "Hmm, he stopped. They got blinkers on. What could that possibly mean?" Hmm, what do you think it means? Ah! Come on, Barnes and Noble. Stop opening your doors. That the last time this happened, we came back there was stuff in there. Oh, there's an employee right there, guys. Look at that. What is he doing? Sweeping. Stop sweeping. Go sweep later on. I'm busy trying to look in your dumpster. Maybe after we go back down, we go all, check all these and come back up this way. Yeah. Maybe he'll be gone by then. I don't know. When employees come to stand by the trash, they usually do it for long extended periods of time. Let's check in. Rack room shoes real quick. Just empty shoe boxes. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and just walk this way because there's no point of getting back in the car to drive, what, 25 feet? Kinda stupid. Well, let's see what's over here. Real trash. I don't even know what store that is, but sometimes they find random stuff in there. This is for sure TJ Maxx over here. Let's see what we got. Yeah, look at that dirt they throw all over the mattress now. They're like, oh my god, somebody almost got that and benefited off it. Imagine if a homeless person had somewhere safe to sleep or comfortable to sleep. Just imagine how much harm that would have caused. There's a bunch of trash. Can't really see what's in that box though because this thing doesn't open all the way. It's like stuck. Let's try. Oop, broken stuff. That's what's in that box. Well, that was a lot louder than I expected. <laughs> I didn't expect to move that box in here like World War II sounds. <laughs> anyway, let's go check Staples now, and then you can check PetSmart, and then we'll come back to Barnes & Noble, and hopefully that lackey's gone. That's what they're called for now on, lackeys. I want to just call them douches, I really do. Oh, that truck behind us is littered and ran stops on that. Wow. Yeah. Coca-Cola. What are you doing here? Why is there a Coke truck at a PetSmart? Like, what are you... Oh, man. Today's just not our dumpster diving day. Here's Staples though. Let's go check this HIV infested dumpster. It's like full of dirt and stuff, you know. Hmm. Look at this. If I open it, it's just gonna fall out everywhere. It's just a freaking mess. There's some security right behind me. Hold on a second. I'm gonna act like I'm just recording something until he goes away. Okay. I thought he's gonna come say something to us, but no, I'm just gonna act like I have a camera. And there's nothing in there. Those ink cartridges are always empty, by the way, if you're wondering. But yeah, that's what I do with this. Even a lot of security cars, they pass by and they see you have a camera. They just, everyone's scared of a camera. It's like a weapon. It's like I'm walking around with like an AR-15 in my hand. They just see it and they're like, no, no. Um, yeah, I don't think it's gonna work with PetSmart today. He's kind of blocking the ramp. There's their dumpster. I 
I can't, like, I would park right here, but I don't know if they have a delivery truck coming, and then they're going to call the place, and there's a car in your, I don't know. Too much to worry about. Uh, so aggravating. Oh, there comes Demi Lovati right in front of us. Another one. I'm going to keep the camera fo looking right at them, too. I don't even care no more. They irritate me here. Like, Demi Lovati's drive me crazy. Police and Lovati's are nice people. They don't ever have a problem with the Julian. But Demi Lovati's, they think that they're such, you know, bad and above people. No, look at you. I got the camera on you. I don't care. Look at him. I want to just egg his car. <laughs> you're, you're not bad, buddy. You're not. They think they're so intimidating. You work security. Calm down. You're nothing special. Let's see. Barnes & Noble shut. All right, this is gonna be really scary. We're gonna take a quick peek in there because he was just out there a second ago. Dun dun. Doesn't look like no boxes, guys. Nope. All right, no boxes. And we didn't get caught, so <laughs> that's a good day. Oh, my heart rate right there. I wish you guys can experience that. Like you just gotta dumpster dive when you know the employees are right there. It's not the smartest thing to do, but the rush is like, oh my god, 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 oh my god. But anyway, we're gonna go ahead and go over to Twitter and then Instagram and go through what everybody has to say. Give me one second, let's get to Twitter. And yeah, my phone's acting up. It's like, nah, bro, you don't need to go to Twitter. All right, here we go. On Twitter, we got one that says. Have you ever visited Europe or the Netherlands? No, but I go. I want to go to Europe so bad. The only time I've ever left the U.S. soil is going into Canada. But I mean, it's still it's North like America. Barely out. It's barely out. It feels like the U.S. It just feels like nicer than the U.S. Like every time I go to Canada, everyone's so freaking nice. I'm like, I just want to stay here. But that's the only time I put my foot in Mexico on the Mexican border on a beach in California. But that's it. Um, let's see, Christian, keep up the good work, bro. I love your videos. Thank you. Yo, boy. Shout out on the video, Xbox for Life. Yeah, Xbox for Life, thank you. At least we still have some people out there that still support Xbox. Uh, let's see, Bowtie Cat, what's your dream dumpster diving item to shop? I don't know, it's a hard question. It'd be nice to be able to hit like a bank or jewelry store and find like jewelry, but obviously that's never gonna happen, but I don't know. I love finding kiosks. Honestly, they say those are my favorite items to find because they're just such, they're so big and just, oh, you know you made bank when you see those things. If you see them, you know there's gonna be an awesome video and you also made a lot of bank, so it's always fun to see them. While we're at this light, everybody, give them, give them a middle finger. Give them a big, fat middle finger because they're a douchebag company. I love Toyotas now, don't get me wrong. I like my Toyota cars, but. that one. That one in particular, they have some sketchy employees and sketchy business practices that I hated and made my life miserable for over a year. But anyway, let's go over to Instagram. Do you miss nighttime dumpster driving, going dumpster driving GameStop? You don't even understand how much I do, yes. But we're gonna be going back tonight because like I said, I got a $2 scratch off found in the car, cashed at 150, so now I know I have enough gas to last me until I get paid Friday. So we are definitely going back at night from now on, gonna be back on schedule. So might still go do daytime drives every now and then while we're over here because there's still a Barnes & Noble and a Pet Smart and other good stores. So we can still hit them up, but mostly we're gonna go back to nighttime. <laughs> Han, Han, am I missing something here? Hakuna Matata? Hakuna Matata. What is that? It's from The Lion King. Oh, see, I don't know. I've never seen any Disney movies. I'm like so out of date with that kind of stuff. I don't know what it means, but I know Timon and Pumbaa. Mm, Timon and Pumbaa. That was like their thing. Hakuna Matata. See, I've never, I'm 24 and I've never seen The Lion King. <laughs> A YouTube shout out if possible. YouTube is Bearded Pop Scavengers. Give a shout out to Bearded Pop Scavenger, guys. Go check it out if you want to. And let's see, I'm glad y'all are going daytime diving. At least I don't know what I do without my daily Jeeps video. Well, right? I don't know what I do without putting it out. Even on Easter, I was like, I'm not gonna put the video out today because everyone's gonna be busy. And, but inside, I'm like, ugh, it's gotta be every day. I should have put something out. I was thinking of playing an April Fool's joke since it was April Fool's too. And I have like a bunch of fake money and being like, look at all this money we found. And I was like, eh, I feel like everyone's gonna get mad. So I didn't do an April Fool's joke. But again, while we're here, do me a favor, middle finger to them. I want to do it so bad. I'm doing it behind camera, know that. But anyway, that's going to be it for today, guys. Next time we'll be at nighttime. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you did enjoy it, make sure you leave it a big fat thumbs up. If you're not already, hit that subscribe button for awesome dumpster diving videos every single day. Don't forget, we're going to do giveaways now, too, on the first of every single month to one of our most active subscribers. So make sure you're subscribed and watch the videos. 
Follow us on our social media links, PO box in the description below. Thanks so much for watching, and until next time, peace out.